We have a question from Orist. I'm an older guy, age 68. Good health, still employed full-time as a lawyer. Good. Been, so we have had a detective and a lawyer this week, so let them sort it out. Been working out on and off most of my life. I recently finished the Strong Lifts 5x5 program. I don't know what it is. And I'm currently doing two lift program based on your podcast with Pat Flynn of back squats and presses. Isn't that funny? Because I would, if it's a Dan John program, the word back squat probably doesn't go together, but I get it. Three times a week, about nine sets of increasing weights of five reps down to doubles or a single. These programs lean towards building strength. I keep reading that to avoid uh, sarcopenia, one needs to build muscle. I'm not sure what that means. Um, Yes, Your Honor, I don't know what it means either sometimes. Uh, Most people get those ages of, of elderly life, those issues of elderly life uh, from not doing anything. It's, you know, it's wasting by not doing things. So I, when I, when I read and I, you know, I subscribe to AARP or I got this week's magazines, right? Somewhere back there. And, uh, you know, I read there, I read online about stuff and I think you get a real mix of advice from, um, from uh, those the, some of the the information given to the elderly because the bulk the bulk hey first off bulk of the people don't work out probably one in twenty Americans train work out at any level at all and I'm afraid to say that might number <laughs> might be too high so when we hit our when we hit basically I think it's about thirty five. There's this gradual decline in all qualities. Now, the fact that you've been lifting means that as you've been declining since 55, uh, 35, you're still above the norm. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slide back into your question, but you're, you're, you're well ahead of the curve right now. Just said that. These programs lean towards building strength. I keep reading of, okay, I'm not sure what that means. Neither right. Should I forego these strength building programs and do some more like bodybuilding and multiple exercises per day, three to six, three to six sets? That's way too much. Three sets are fine, of eight to twelve reps. Just looking for some guidance and direction. Maybe with your guidance, you can recommend one of your own programs that I could purchase. Holy cow, Boris! I can't believe you don't know this. DanJohnUniversity.com. Go to the workout generator and three days a week, I want you to do. Um, whatever it pings you up to do. Uh, just do the basics, put in the equipment you have, three days a week. Three days a week, I would like, it's funny, you'll be doing three sets of 12, three sets of 10, three sets of eight. You'll be doing basic bodybuilding movements. You'll be doing, you know, and nothing too complicated, pretty simple. But the nice thing is, if you do that push-pull, hinge, squat, load, and carry with mobility work, and you still have the energy to do your uh, squat and press program, um, I, I, let's do this. Let's do it this way. Let's have you do three to six weeks of the workout generator on Dan John University. And then after that, do like a two-week reboot on the Pat Flynn program. Uh, program. And uh, let's talk. I like that. Oris, so there you go. Uh, if you want a discount, uh, type in uh, you're a lawyer. You should be fine. Enjoy, join the site and, uh, uh, go right to the workout generate, spend some time on the forum and ask people other ideas. Cause there's a lot of us in our sixties on the forum. Um, uh, read some of the, there's a ton of PDFs and uh, articles and books. Uh, we have stuff from, oh gosh, we have probably five or six different authors in our PDFs and, uh, Enjoy the voyage and let's uh, let's continue to lift and talk <laughs> for a long time. Thanks for sharing that. Thank you.